Hey guys, um, <clears throat> this is a video to show off kind of the stuff that I do uh, professionally. This is a server that I built about a year ago. Uh, it's currently being moved to another data center, so that's why it's not running. But um, there are two identical servers exactly like this that I've built. Um, and I'll just go over some of the parts that are in the server. So <laughs> we'll start off with the power supply. So as you can see, there's some extra connectors here, but they're redundant. And what that means is you push this pin in and then it slides out. And what that does is you have two power supplies. These are each uh, 960 watts. And if one is to fail, the other immediately kicks in. Um, so you can see that there are, in fact, two power supplies. Um, and excuse the messes in the back of my car. Um, I use ESXi and it runs off of, it boots off of a flash drive. Um, we have four ethernet ports in the back um, and we do load balancing and everything like that. Now for expansion slots, this is called a RAID card. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with RAID, but RAID is basically uh, an array of redundant disks. So you can um, have multiple drives fail before you lose anything. This card is very expensive. Um, this is a Rika, so if you look it up, search up an Arika card, and you'll see. Uh, it's very expensive, but what the card has is it has uh, a gigabyte of flash memory. I mean, not flash memory, an actual DDR3 stick, um, one gig, so that's a uh, cache. Of course, it's got its own cooling fan, uh, and then it has all these connectors. So now what these connectors do is it actually allows four hard drives so if you think of four, eight, you got 12, 16, 18, there we go. Oh, 24. So we got 24 drives. <clears throat> now those connectors have them all twist tied down. They all go back to what's known as a back plane. Back pane, black plane, I don't know, whatever the fuck. So these connectors, they're very straightforward. Um, they just connect in. Other setups I've done, I've actually, there are four tips on the other end of the, one of these, and you have to wire them up in series. I've done those as well. Um, they would come into like regular SATA connectors like this. Um, I had solid state drives in here, so that's why those are there. So now in the front, these are what's known as a redundant disk. So I have 24 two terabyte drives in this box, and they're hot swappable. So they come out in a, a caddy such as this. So you um, push the button, it unlocks it, slides out, and then it, it just slides right in. There's two drives that have, of course, failed, which is just our luck. So next we have the fans. These suckers, you just pull the tabs, they just slide out. They're fans, um, you know, so you can do maintenance on the rack. Everything is built in this computer pretty much to the point where you can hot swap most of the stuff. Um, this is a server grade motherboard. It's much bigger than what you would find. It has dual processors. These are um, Xenon. I think they're the E5 series. They are six core processors with hyper threading. So altogether, this is 12 physical cores, 24 threads of uh, computing power. And uh, this has 64 gigs of memory. Each one of these sticks is 8 gigabytes. Um, I could have had 128. Uh, the budget went a little tight, and we didn't do that. So that's that. But, yeah, this is what a server looks like. This is a 4U box. Um, you know, it's expensive. That's all I can say. Um, and I'm proud of it because I built this. Um, instead of buying pre-made, where all the parts are already inside the server, um, I buy them on multiple sources. So Amazon, Micro Center, Newegg, um, and then sometimes you have to buy directly from the manufacturer. So like the case is a Chenbro, um, which it came with the power supplies. So it's just an empty chassis, no hard drives or anything. Hard drives I sourced from Amazon, they were cheaper. The Rika card was from Amazon. The motherboard was from Newegg. Processors were from Micro Center, I think. Um, but, you know, this is very expensive to build, and I built it.